Hello, this is YouTubeness. Um, this is my second LEGO review on my first LEGO set. I forgot to do it earlier. Um, I am sorry, I do not have the box or the information pamphlet, but I will tell you about it. Um, this is the Freeze Ray Frenzy. Uh, let's get started with the accessories for the set. Um, it's got a stoplight and a stop sign. Um, ah, casualty. The stoplight is pretty big compared to a Lego figure. Let me show you what I mean. It's taller than a Lego figure. You'd think they would make it at least only the same height or even shorter, but yeah. Well, I will show you the figures now. Here is my Space Police guy. I am sorry, but he only has one head side. He has a um, detailed torso, printed pants. Um, he does have some detail on the back of his torso, which you can't really see because of the um, oxygen tank things here. But um, he is a relatively good guy. Let me. Just turn it back on. Here is the villain alien guy of the set. Cranks, the space biker gang's leader. He's got a, sort of an octopus head. He's got a tentacle mustache thing. Three tentacles going off the back of his head. Two huge eyes. No nose. An open mouth, which is really neat. He, um, his mouth is completely open to the player stick stuff in it if you want. Can't really see very well, I don't think. He's got um Skull Twin Helm head guy there. Um nice detail. You can see his muscles on his chest. Um another Skull Twin the Skull Twin belt here um is common on almost every space police villain figure. Put that guy to the side. Um, eh, okay, I guess I'll show you his ship now. This is his space hover motorcycle thing. Um, it's got a little control panel there, nice laser, skull twin head, just like on all the rest of the space police figure ships. Um, he signed it or something. Um, little bit of damage is pretty cool on the stickers on the front there um, looks like a streak of paint or blood um, a lot of sticker detail on it nice little engine piece here um, the flame here is a relatively new to space police and other Lego sets I added an extra brown piece in there because um, the piece doesn't want to stick in there or stay in there for that matter. Um, I will show you the Space Police bike now. Um, it's got a regular bike shape but it's kind of backwards. Um, you just stick them on there like that. The handlebars come off pretty easily. Um, it has police sign, the um, police lights on there, flick fire missiles. If you wanna, ah, you wanna shoot at your the guy in front of you. It says on the review, the view on the sales pitch view on the website for this is their freeze ray missile things. Um, it was, a, it's um, this Lego set is one of the hard to find Lego sets. Um. I would recommend buying it if you can find it. It's about fourteen, fifteen, maybe sixteen dollars. I can't remember exactly. Um, it's really fun to play with. Um, build factor on how fun it was, maybe one to on one to ten, ten being the best. I think it was about a seven. The detail on the figures, about a five or six, and then. Um, play factor, it's not as good as um, my previous LEGO set review, my first one on the Space Truck Getaway. Space Truck Getaway is my 
favorite. Um, it's a relatively good set, but if you're going for play factor, it. If you're just trying to collect all the Space Police villains, it's good because you get one and then you get another Space Police guy to battle him. But if you're looking for play factor on having them attack each other, it's not that good. The um, accessory, the two accessories that come with it are pretty nice, but that's about it. Um, so that's about it, actually. Um, this is YouTube Nest signing off with the review of the Freeze Ray Frenzy.